Hello guys, this is Jonathan Stedman and today guys I will be showing you guys um, Smart CTL. Smart CTL is basically a terminal tool that allows you to check for health for disk. Okay, so to install it what we guys want you to do is to update your system first to begin with. So to do that you do apt update. And that should scan for any packages that might need some updating. So first of all we need to do that. And the main reason why I want to check for the disk is because you might have issues with it. And, you know, having issues to, like, with the drive is not always a good thing. So I have this is okay. Um, my temperature is fine. Um, because this drive is getting older. So the older it gets, um, the more of bad sectors it will develop. Because it has moving parts. Um, I did, like, an extended scan on this drive, though. And it shows to me that I have three read data rates. I have spin up time, three seconds. <laughs> And this is attributes that I've got. So overall, I've got three bad sectors and one of the sectors well un uncorrectable. So what I did was that with that pending sector was that I wrote zeros to the sector. And what I did was I think that has fixed the issue. But I'm not 100% sure about this. So to install it, what we guys want to do is do sudo. Because I don't have any updates. But if we did have to do sudo app to get upgrades. And then I should install any updates that we'll have. Just press one and turn and so on. So to install it, we need to do sudo apt get install smart mon tools. And that should install that package for you. But because I already have it installed, then I don't need to worry about it. Okay. So this is like a manual I got opened up. So if I need to check a drive for set smart compatibility then we just need to do this command I do have support for it I have enabled so I don't need to do these commands but please feel free to look at these commands I will leave this at the bottom okay so they support short and extended and convincing um, tasks so to do a smart test what we guys want to do is sudo smart ctl and now do c and now that will display all of the um, all of the tests that we can do. So for here, what we could do is that we could do short, we could do extended, we can do that, and we can do so on. So we can only do these three commands. So to do a test, do sudo, and then I'll do smart ctl, and I'll do t, and I'll do short, and then do dev sda, and then if you want to do long, put down here long instead. Um, but today we're going to do a short test and it should take around two minutes to do. So what I may do is pause this video and then I'll be back once it should be done. Okay guys, so it should be done now. Um, but you guys can do a long t um, long test which is what I mostly recommend over for short self test. It's because this one will actually scan it properly. Okay. So we did a basic scan, right? This is a basic scan. If you want to do a bit a more advanced scan, to do a long version of it, which is basically this command. Just copy this command over a terminal. Okay, so um I'm to display for this smart dispositor. Okay, so actually display all for hard drive information. What you guys will need to do is do sudo smart CTL, now do A, and now I have to do dev SDA, and this will show off our results. So from here, completely without any errors. Okay, so um, let me go through what this is basically. So this is a read error rate. This is how many times it failed to read from that sector. Spin up time has how long it took for this drive to spin up. Stop and start and stop is how many times a turn is going to be on and off. Reallocated bad sectors are basically when you have bad sectors on this drive, they're going to be put into a special area. But um, I have zero there, which is a bit problematic because I have three bad sectors. And if they're not being reallocated, then that might be a bigger issue. I always have a seek error rate. I'm not too sure what this is about, but again, I will link down below a Wikipedia page of all the attributes that you guys can look at and it will tell you everything about hard drive. Power and hours is how long we'll have this PC on this hard drive on for. And then this is um 
for how many times the hard drive tried to spin up, which could be very bad. And this is a power cycle count. Um, so yeah, they have a temperature here. So this is a temperature. This is 38 degrees. Um, we've got to reallocate the offense accounts. So have um, reallocated offense counts. So how many times that is trying to uh, reallocation, reallocated offense count. All right, so this is how many sectors that will be reallocated soon. And this is a current pending sector. This is how, um, the number of best sectors that is waiting to be remapped or to be rewritten to. So this doesn't necessarily mean that hard drive, the sector is failing because um, they want to retry to retest the sector first. Um, but if it comes out as a failure on the next write, then it will come out as a bad sector or it will be reallocated. But if it's unable to be reallocated, it will come out as an offline uncorrectable sector and I only have one of these. So the only way I could really fix this is if I do a reformat, which I may do. I may do a reformat because I have bad sectors on this drive and it went from 2 to 3 for the next day. Um, I went to 1 and it went to 2 then went to 3 very fast. So um, I had a write error rate but because I tested one of the sectors with trying to read from the sector then um, I got free now because um, I was testing a failed sector with a read thing. Okay, so I wrote, the reason why I don't have a current panning sector at the very moment is because I wrote zeros to the sector and I don't really recommend doing this because it could lead to data loss. But I wrote zeros to the sector and it seemed to have fixed the issue. I don't know if it has been reallocated or something but because it doesn't show anything. But yeah. This is a problematic um, problematic um, sector that I got and this is how many days it predicted it will die at. Um, it will survive until. So it's, I think it's wraps after around these days. I think this is a prediction date when it will fail. Um, which is quite low actually. Hmm, this, this is not very good at all. Um, so this is a failed sector. I was unable to scan this hard drive due to the current panic sector count. So if we can't scan this hard drive due to an error, then have a look at LBA of a first error and then try to write zeros to that sector. Um, so yeah. This is basically smart CTL which anyone can use. And if I have any form of bad sectors, I would recommend you to change a hard drive or to get a replacement under warranty or something like that. It's always a better idea to always get a new hard drive even if we only got one bad sector. Because um, even though we could, I always say on the forums and stuff like that, that one bad sector is not a problem, just keep an eye on it. And that's because many people didn't have any issues with bad sectors. but. Because I said just keep an eye on it, I think that people would just rather just replace it straight away and just worry less about it. Because one bad sector is a bad thing, because it failed to write it or read to the sector and due to physical damage. And once there's physical damage, then things tend to get a lot worse. Um, as long as the bad sectors are not increasing rapidly, then it might survive for another few years. I, but I just recommend you to change a hard drive even at one bad sector because things will get worse very quickly because I had one bad sector for like the past six months now but now it's starting to increase rapidly and it's not very good it's not very good at all so yeah that was smart CTL our introduction to it or for basics we can do many more of smart CTL. We can do smart CTL that will tell it more about it. If we do smart CTL that do it dash H and that will tell you how to use it. Um, so yeah. There's also a graph user interface of using it. This is called um, G smart um, control. So if I write down a password here, then this will tell you any bad sectors from here. But it doesn't work for me. Hold on. Oh yeah, no. Okay, I thought I accidentally exited. <laughs> I was getting panicky there. Okay, guys. So that was basically um, a introduction to Smart CTL, and the guys can have a play around with it if you want to. But with that, something like this, um, 
I know that as long as it always back up with data, then we should be fine. There's nothing to really worry about. Dev SDA. So this is how to display everything again. We have to do sudo, otherwise it won't work. Um, smart CTL, and now if we do A, and now if we do Dev SDA, then um, this is um, everything that is here. So, yeah, this is... Uh, for um for hard drive that I've got at this very moment. I will be replacing this hard drive soon though, because um it's a lot more it's a it's a lot 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 more or less stressful just, just to replace a failing hard drive. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hope that you like this um video. Anyway guys, bye.